The world-renowned scientist Werner Heisenberg was enthusiastic and joyful on coming to Shantaniketan, India. He had read many things about India while he was staying in Germany. He had also heard many stories about the Vedic mantras, rishis and ashrams which are an integral part of Hinduism. He used to often read the poetic creation of Abhigyan Shakuntalam by poet Tulsidas in German. The blissful atmosphere of Shantaniketan pleased Heisenberg a lot. He had come there to meet the world poet Rabindranath Tagore in his ashram. From the day he started his research on nuclear physics, he was in regular contact with Tagore through letters. In 1920, Heisenberg with Niels Bohr of Denmark, Louis Broglie of France and Erwin Schrödinger of Austria started researching on nature of atomic particles. Even after the discovery of 20 subatomic particles including Vison, Meson, Tokion, etc., scientists were not sure about the basic constituents of atom or whether it even existed or not. Heisenberg became afraid of the fact that what if there's so much of hard work is waste cause on studying atomic vibrations his group had observed that the actuality of atoms existed in the form of energy waves. After this observation they started their study on wave mechanics. At this point, Heisenberg recalled his meeting with various Indian rishis. Since Tagore was still in contact with him from the last nine years, therefore, in 1929, he decided to come to Shantaniketan. Here, he elaborated and discussed his research work with Tagore. He asked Tagore, if all the name and forms of matter is an illusion, then please tell me what is the truth. In reply, the world poet quoted a shlok from the spiritual book Vivek Churamani written by Adi Guru Shankaracharya in Sanskrit. He then explained the shlokas inner meaning to him. Matter and its and numerous, its forms, numerous forms, is forms is just a myth. A myth. A myth. Even, energy, Even energy which is the constituent form of matter, of matter along with along its with forms, its forms is, also is also untrue. untrue. The truth, the is, truth that is that these distinctions, these distinctions with the beat, with the beat of, matter of matter or energy, or energy is an illusion. Is illusion. That, that which is that, true is non-divisible non and is and called is Brahma. Brahma. Brahma is, Brahma the, is only the only thing in the universe, in the universe which, is certain, which is certain and everything, and everything else, else is uncertain. Is uncertain. Heisenberg studied this thought for a long time. He then asked Tagore, what is Brahma? Rabindranath answered, that, that, which, that do which do have not have any kind of imaginary, imaginary classification, classification, that, 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 which, that which is not is affected, not affected by, time, by time, or that, or that which, does which does not require, require any proof for its for existence, its existence is, is called Brahma. Brahma. From that moment, Heisenberg didn't look back. He went to Munich and within a few months discovered the famous principle of uncertainty which is regarded as the base principle for the development of quantum mechanics.